Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here, and it's Spooktober. It's Spooky Halloween, and I have something fun for us to do in this Spooky Halloween season. We got our hands on some of these Pokemon trading cards, and we're going to open them up. Now, don't worry, we were reasonable purchasers, because our lovely friends, Generation Monster, got these for us, and they got two. Um, we have one here, and we have one right here. We're not one of those scalping people that clears 40 of these off the shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some scissors. And we're going to carefully cut the top off. Because heaven forbid I cut through a $600 card. I don't know what the values are in this. I've not even looked. Oh my god. There are so many nasty. It's still saved. It's still pretty. So I can trim this off and make a homemade sticker out of that. Alright. Lord. Is this what it's like to be like Aaron Hansen or like Logan Paul or the Game Grumps or something like that with all these cards? Wow. How to be a Pokemon card VTuber or whatever. IRL. Okay, I cut my shelf for game. Cut. Alright, so the first one. We're going to open up. And I can already hear the nerds screaming because I'm probably opening this up. He must incorrect. Oh, I'm already probably doing foul number one. Well, since I can feel right where the card is, I'll be very smart on this one. And all these cards are going to go to, like, my nieces and nephews. All right. You know, I don't know or remember how this works. I think it works this way. I guess so. Oh, spooky! Oh, it's so cute. Alright, I'll keep my hands at this distance. Alright. And the rare of... Ooh! That's pretty cool. Alright. I may have just committed the larceny of getting back into Pokemon. <laughs> ooh, pretty shiny card! Pretty shiny. Alright, so we're going to very carefully head up on the top. Oh, never mind. I guess that was visible. Holographic Gengar. And then let's see. Spin Rack. Ghastly. Alright. Alright, I'm learning. I'm learning. I haven't made you all have aneurysms yet. Nope. I already saw the name. Never mind. Oh no. Okay. Hunter. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. I, I did Pokemon for years. Not Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon right when it came out. And if you can't tell by my mat, I did uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh... I used to compete in regionals. I wasn't half bad. I always made it in top 32 usually. So that's decent. All right, let's we learned our lesson this time. Okay. All right, so it should be this one. Okay, I always like this one in the game. It's always kind of spooky. Pumpkin Boo. Ooh. Again, I do not know rarity, so I could be pulling crap or I could be pulling something really decent. All right. All right, there's the seam line. This pack has... Another Gengar. All right, so we got... Doubles already. And then we have Hatern and Gasly. We're probably going to get a lot of doubles. We are easily probably going to get a lot of doubles. Because a lot of sets like this, I remember for Yu Gi Oh! You'd have like eight rares of the same one. This one is. 
Oh, we actually pulled this one correctly. All right. So I can reveal that's curved, so that's the hull foil. Spin rack. We're gonna get clone packs, okay. Oh no! A turn, different one. But you'll start getting clones of the same of these. It's easy for blister packs like this. I'm also feeling with my finger where the card line is. I only saw the type. I didn't see the... Alright. Another Punkaboo. Oh, Chandler! I like this one. This one's very nice. I don't know why. I always find that that type was really cool. should put a challenge that I randomly cut one pack and a half without knowing what's in it. Ooh. Alright. The hall foil on the back. Cubone. Classic card. Nicket? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Another hat turn, so we have a duplicate. Was the pile. It seems like they kind of flip in order if they're flatter down, so I don't know, guys. Safety first. I like shove it near the camera. Alright, so. Okay, we opened it correctly. Oh, a Lampent. A Dust Skull. Oh, watch out, kid. Another Mimikyu. Wait. Yeah, we do have... Yep, yep, we do have a Mimikyu. Alright. So these are doubles. <laughs> Can't tell, but to the side, my cat is on top of my suitcase. And she's meowing at something that's physically not there. I think it's a bug. Um, or, you know, my house is haunted. Tis the season. Alright, sweet. Let me pull that. <gasps> Litwick! Complete set. Nicket, and... Ooh, another Gengar. So Gengar's in the lead of the... What, what shiny was printed the most. It's a popular card. I can see why. Well, you know. I think the Pikachu one is rare, too. I don't know. It's Pikachu. You know everyone would buy the pack just for that. All right, let's see. Am I going to see blue or am I going to see... I'm seeing card color. All right. So there's blue. Cubone. Poltergeist, that's one we don't have. And, ooh, interesting. I don't have that one. All right, we're gonna get blue or blue, okay. So we do have a Pikachu. Okay, is there a variant Pikachu? Nicket and Chandelure. All right, we already have that. So we're almost halfway through. I know this is different than what my normal format is, but for Halloween, I wanted to do a few of these. And people really seem to like these videos, so let's try them out. Zubat, use confusion. You hit yourself in confusion and don't know why. Wait a second. It's crocheted. 
That's interesting. Okay, Poltergeist. And, ooh, Dark Rye. This is cool. I'm going to have to, like, probably go over this video and show values of what they are. All right. So let's go back there. Right. Oh, I already saw regular card color. All right. Okay. Ooh, the earlier form. And another Trevenant. All right. So at the end of the... I think we're going to do four of these. So at the end of the... Four, Dark Eye, Trevenant, Chandelure, Hatrine, I believe, Gorpgeist, Mimikyu, Gengar, Miss, Miss Migus? I can, I can never pronounce this one correctly. So that's the first one. Hopefully you guys like this. Three more to come.